You know, I recently went back and played Sonic Adventure 2 for like the 100th time in a row and decided to do something a little bit different about it. Instead of just going online and listening to my favourite parts of the soundtrack, you know the ones, live and learn and escape from the city, I went and listened to one song in particular. My Sweet Passion. This one's the theme for Amy since Sonic Adventure 1 and carried over to the sequel. Although, since Amy isn't a major player this time round, it's only really heard in one cutscene, you know the one where Amy mistakes Shadow for Sonic. It's the short use of the song, combined with its lack of presence within Amy, that makes me ignore this song every single time. But now that I look at the lyrics, this song is kinda creepy. This song feels like something a stalker writes before offing their victim. Amy is absolutely obsessed, and this song outlines her most unlikable traits that Sega still uses to this day. So let's analyse it and take a look at those lyrics to see how far this train wreck goes. So let's start with a simple one. I got my map and chose a place I wanted to go, packed up my stuff, set out for adventure. This one's pretty simple. Amy's life is pretty average at the start of SA1. All she wants to do is go on another adventure with Sonic since she hasn't had one since being kidnapped from Metal Sonic in Sonic CD. Instead she's stuck grocery shopping in Station Square. Her life is extremely mundane, so as soon as the call for adventure beckons, she answers. Or more like she gets kidnapped. But in Adventure 2, she takes the lead in busting Sonic out of prison, so it kind of goes full circle in that regard. Now, I know that your lucky colour is that cool shade of blue. Won't mind painting myself blue for you. This is the line that always comes to mind when I hear this song. It's just so creepy to listen to. You're going to notice that Amy has these strange inner monologues during her song, most of which are even creepier than the initial line she says. Obviously Sonic is blue, but this also refers to him speedily running along and being a blur that's left behind. But suggesting she'd paint herself for him shows the extreme length she'd go to, not only to be noticed by Sonic, but to be more like him, physically. I do understand the feelings of a Persian cat, but the Sphinx looks so cute, I had to shave it. This one is a bit more complex, you can get the meaning with a little bit of history. Persian cats are a symbol of luxury and royalty for many, many years. So Amy associating herself with that mindset means she sees herself in that same way, as some sort of prize. I've seen a lot of people interpret the Sphinx as meaning the great royal tombs like the great Sphinx of Geyser, as it has the same royal connection. But I see the line as referring more to the hairless cat, in the way that Amy was so jealous of the beauty these cats had that she shaved them all in order to keep Sonic's eyes off of them and onto her. I just find this interpretation so funny that I want to say it's fact, but then again, I haven't seen her shaving Blaze yet, so maybe it's not, but it would be hilarious to imagine her going around shaving cats just so Sonic keeps his eyes on her. But with that, the seductive nature of how this song is portrayed you could also interpret it as being something else. But um, I'll leave you to imagine what she might be shaving. He reminds me of Parsley when he's standing there all alone. Makes me want to be his speciality. Sonic being referred to as Parsley is hinting how he doesn't taste good alone. You don't just eat raw parsley, it's combined with other ingredients to create a delicious meal. Amy sees herself as that other component to complete Sonic. You probably need me just as much as I need you. Are you okay? You seem a little bit tense. This really doesn't need analysis, but I just want to add it because it adds to the uncomfortability of how Sonic feels around Amy and her just really not getting the hint. This is all stalker vibes and they all come from this one song, which crazily enough is one of the biggest main themes in the series. It's the most recurring of every Sonic main theme when it comes to characters. This song about Amy being a literal creep and stalker. Isn't that just crazy? Hey, maybe it will appear in Sonic Frontiers, although let's hope her character has changed way past this point. But I think that's all the major parts of this song. 
I thought this was just a fun little thing to discuss. Now if you have your own interpretations of the lyrics, then feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'd love to know what everyone else thinks of these lyrics, especially the um, the Sphinx part, but uh, <laughs> again I'll leave that part to you. And I'd just like to give you all a huge thank you. No, seriously, thank you all so much for getting me to 700 subscribers. Before my old channel was taken down, it was about at the same point, and it's amazing that it's gotten back there after all this time. I'm almost on 1,000 subscribers, and I hope to make it by the end of the year. And so, if you haven't already, please just consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot if we could get to 1K by December. But seriously, thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, goodbye.